Yo, what is going on people out there? Tutorial Project V9 here and today in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create the wall of lights um, with optical flares and we're going to be using After Effects CS6. Yeah, This also works for CS5 as well. Same CS4, I don't know about CS3. But as long as you have optical flares, which is a third party uh, plugin um, from Video Copilot um, then you should be able to create this. Now you don't know what the wall of, uh, wall of lights is uh, as you can just see in my intro that's uh, the wall of lights and that's what we're going to be creating here today. Alright first thing first what we're going to do here is we're going to click on a light 105 and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here to where we see light 1. We're going to hold the shift button and we're going to click on light 1 and what this is going to do is going to highlight all of the lights and once we highlighted all the lights we are then going to toggle the switches. And once we toggle the switches for all the lights we are then going to go up to here and we're going to click on this button called well it says hide all layers for which shy switch is set. We're going to click on that button and we're going to come here into our timeline here. We're going to right click and go to new camera and we're going to set the preset of the camera. We're going to set it to 24 millimeters and just just leave the camera name there and hit OK. And as you can see now we have our formation of lights. We're going to right click go to new text and now we're going to create our text layer which is going to be in front of our lights so just type in the text that you want and once we created our text we try to center it as much as possible in front of the lights uh, once we create our text we're then going to pre-compose our text layer down in the uh, timeline sequence here so to do that we can go to layer pre-compose or we can hit control shift C but since I'm already here I'm just going to click on that and we're just going to title it title and once we have pre-composed our text layer we're then going to toggle it as a 3D layer and we're going to come here into our active camera and we're going to choose top um, we're going to then drag we'll bring our title to the front of our lights and we're going to go back into active camera, active camera I mean, sorry. And we're going to select our pre-composed layer and we're going to click on the letter A on our keyboard twice. So AA. And where you see accept lights, we're going to change it to off. And you you know, you can see my title has, you know, came off the screen a little bit and just readjust it real easily. Now you know, I know you guys are going to take a little bit more time you know adjusting things I'm just moving a little bit fast just for the sake of this tutorial and yeah that's good about right there but after that we're then going to hit control shift H on our keyboard to hide our lights after that we're going to select our pre-composed layer we're gonna to go to effect generate and then fill and we're going to fill our text with a black after that, we're going to come back into our timeline here. We're going to select our pre-composed layer again, and we're going to duplicate it by hitting Control D on the keyboard. We're going to come here into our duplicated layer, and we're going to change the color of it to a kind of goldish color. You try to get as much as gold as you can. Um, I'd say probably about right there is good enough, just for the sake of this tutorial. Um, we're going to hit P on our duplicated layer and we're going to push our duplicated layer back behind our um, first uh, layer here. We're then going to duplicate our first layer, first pre-composed layer again and we're going to drag it below our second duplicated layer and we're going to toggle transparency grid and we're going to hit P on our third um, duplicated layer and we're going to bring it back. So as you can see we're pretty much making a 3D uh, making 3D text and just duplicate this again. It's pretty much good. We're going to come back into our first uh, first uh, pre-composed layer and we're going to rename it and we're going to name this main title. Right click go to new 
solid. We're going to name it OF and make com size and hit OK. Then we're going to go to Effect, Video Copilot, Optical Flares. Then we're going to go to Options. And then we're going to clear all. We're going to go to the lens object and choose Glow. And here's the global color. You want to change the color of it. You can change it any color that you want. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use the default blue. And I'm just going to hit OK. And for the source type, we're going to choose track lights. And as you can see, our uh, lights are pretty bright here. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower the brightness um, probably about a good 35. And we're going to lower the scale. Uh, let me see. So, you know, just play with it. You know, you got to do a little bit of um, trial and error, you know. Uh, that's pretty much good right there. Um, after that, we're going to go to Flicker. And for the speed, we are going to um, go about 40. And for the amount, about 100. And as you can see, our lights are bright, too much bright, you know. Uh, so we're going to go back into the brightness and lower it down some more. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much good right there. All right, after that, we're going to go into our timeline here and we're going to select our solid layer and we're going to hit F4 on the keyboard and we're going to change it, uh, change the mode to screen just like that. After that, we're going to duplicate our solid layer and we're going to bring this down all the way below um, our camera and we're going to shut off the flicker and the uh, the flicker amount and the speed and we're going to go into options and we are going to clear our um, we are going to scroll to the bottom and select an iris then we're going to come up to the editor here and we're going to change the distance to zero and then after that, we're going to scroll all the way down until we see shape type. And we're going to select texture and texture image. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here. And we're going to select light dome. Hit OK. And we're going to turn up the brightness. Like so. And hit OK. After that, we're going to come into the effects controls. And as you can see, brightness, scale it up to about 390 and scale the lights uh, scale the light dome uh, images into about 50 or so but after that we are going to go into our first solid layer and we're going to go to options we're going to click on our glow and we're going to scroll down into the editor tab here and we're going to change the gamma to about 0.6 and we're going to hit OK and we're going to scale the lights up the brightness of the lights see that's probably about good about there yeah just keep it like that but after we have done that we are going to duplicate our first solid layer once again by hitting control D on the keyboard and we're going to bring our duplicated layer down right above the camera just like that and after we've done that we are going to hide our last three layers here so we're going to hide the solid layer here the camera and the other solid layer so we're just going to hide them we're going to come into our first solid layer and we're going to come up here to the effects controls and we're going to go to foreground layers layer one source layer we're going to choose main title and you want to change the light radius to about one all right and turn the controls back on and now as you can see we have pretty much of a uh, look of where we're going to be creating here uh, I know you guys are going to do a lot more you know put more time into it other than me but um, after that we are then going to make our camera movement so we're going to click on the camera layer and we're going to come to our keyboard we're going to hit the letter P on the keyboard 
we're going to keyframe the position make sure the time indicator is at the beginning and we're going to keyframe the position we're going to come up to about just the tip of this keyframe here about right there and we are going to come up into our track z track z camera tool and well yeah camera tool and we're going to select the track z camera tool sorry about that and we're just going to move in just a little bit so don't just click and drag up just a little bit and we are going to come out 10 seconds about 10 seconds and we're going to zoom in a little bit far oh not that much not that much not that much about right there is good so it's basically what it's going to do for the camera movement is it's going to zoom in a little bit fast and then it's going to start moving closer to my text zoom in closer to my text real slow as you can see from my intro that's how I did my camera movement but you can do the camera movement any way you want to if you want it to go um, uh, side to side you want it to view the text coming from um, underneath the text or coming above the text you can do the camera movement however you want to however you desire um, but that's just me personally just showing you you know basically how to do the camera movement but um, after that we are going to change the color of the text if you was wanting to you just click on the main title here you want to go to effect generate and then ramp as you can see you can change the color of it if any color that you want same thing if you just want to change the uh, second pre-composed text layer just go to effect generate and then ramp just give it uh, give the text a color that you know blends in with the lights you know but that's just how you change the text color but after you have changed the text color if you want to change it and you like it um, you're ready to move on then you want to right click into the timeline sequence here you want to go to new solid and we're just gonna name it solid doesn't really matter and we're gonna go to effect simulation and then particle world Alright, after that we're going to go to grids and guides and you want to turn off the grid and then we're going to come here into particle and you want to make sure the particle type is set to line and after that you want to go to producer and this is where we're going to um, um, basically formation of particles are going to be flying everywhere as you see on my intro I have particles flying so um, that's what we're going to be creating here so you can control as, as much as particles as you want this is basically um, your own choice of how many particles you want flying around um, how big you want the particles it doesn't really matter um, it's your video is what I'm saying but one important thing is one important thing only as I suggest is you go to physics or whatever and you want to make sure the animation is set to twirly that way <laughs> that's pretty much the whole uh, idea of um, you know creating the particles while they twirl around as you can see my particles a little bit too big so you can turn it down <clears throat> turn the birth, uh, birth rate down as well doesn't really matter but you go through here you just um, just go through here and just just play around with the particles you know play with it just you know to make the video stand out was what I'm saying but after that then that's you just want to come back into the uh, solid layer here and you want to hit F4 on the keyboard you want to change the mode to add and after that then you're pretty much done um, then again I know you guys are gonna take as much as time is needed into you know creating this I just personally just went through this but since you guys you know I just gave you guys the uh, 
fundamentals of how to create it and now you guys can go back and you know tweak it up a little bit which I am going to make a, another tutorial by the way in which um, showing you on how to put a little bit more spice to it um, as you can see from my intro how many times I said that in this in this video like 50 times was it how many times 60 anyway <laughs> just joking around but um if you see in my intro you see I have shaking going on and I have particles coming in I just showed you that but I also have another third party um, uh, product from video copilot called twitch and which I will show you guys on how to um, use it on the um, wall of lights as well in another uh, tutorial but that's pretty much it for this tutorial I am tutorials project v9 re come subscribe and I will definitely catch you guys later